In four short days, we're going to build an entire house. This thing will be like a rock. Yes, an entire house for our homeowners, Jillian, Cliff, and Tessa. Well, I'd like to see our backyard be as colorful as our house. Watch as we let our imaginations run wild by building a colorful playhouse, a see-through deck, and a fantastic playset. Oh, I love it. You I like love that? It. That's awesome. But will this satisfy our discerning homeowners? Find out next on Hammerheads. Cliff and Jillian's home is full of personality and color, but their daughter Tessa's playground is, well, uninspired. Fortunately, what they see is a brown patch of dirt we see as potential. We're gonna transform this barren space into a creative getaway by building a storybook playhouse that'll capture the imagination of the entire family. Hold on, here we go. There you go, sweetheart. <laughs> Cliff and I live here with our daughter, Tessa. Hey, Tessa, I'm gonna make a bracelet. It's broken. Yeah, it is broken, isn't it? I would describe our house as very eclectic, playful. Very whimsical, animated. We did a lot of work on the inside of the house, but we uh, got so exhausted, we kind of forgot the outside. Our backyard right now is all dirt, and I'd really like to see a nice, colorful play area for Tessa. All right, guys, I absolutely love what you've done with the inside. And then we come out here to what? This is the playground area for Tessa, right? Yes. Yeah, doesn't it look like a playground? Does it doesn't really <laughs> inspire the imagination, though, does it? No, it sure Probably. doesn't. Well, we're going to change all that. <laughs> Great. Oh, right. So what we're going to do in this area, we're going to build a playhouse. I love it. Awesome. Like we really want to capture the whimsical fantasy of, you know, the kid's playhouse. So I want to anchor it in an English Tudor style. From there, we can add a little storybook twist. Some half timbering. You can add different pops of color for the house. So on the inside of the house, I'm thinking making this entire area function as an arts and crafts area. Oh, that sounds great. And then over here on this wall, we're going to have a window that folds up, and it's going to double as a puppet show window. Oh, I love it. You I like love that? it. That's awesome. We've got an area to play on the inside of the house. Now we need an area to play on the outside. So on the back of this house, we're going to have a staircase going up and then wrapping around the back, leading out to a catwalk oh. Oh over my here, gosh. and basically end on that side to a slide. Oh, cool. I love it. And then with this whole catwalk area, that leaves us an opportunity to stage this with some swings, because I want to get this swing set kind <gasps> of back get into swings. it. Yeah, Yay. we don't want to we don't want to lose the swings. Swings are great. Yeah. And we need to do something about all this dirt. So I think we add some grass and add some landscaping. It's gonna add a little bit more visual appeal right. to oh, the it area. Sounds great. Because dirt's not that great. No. Right. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, ready. Let's do Let's it. Let's do We're it. Ready. And who better to help than Carmen? And Marcus. Once the foundation is reinforced, Marcus and Cliff get busy securing the subfloor. And what we're doing is we're just going to install this particle board as our flooring. Okay. We'll put a single nail here, and then we can kind of just bang it in as we go along. Beautiful. So I'll let you do the honors. All right. Safety goggles. I'm ready. All right. Nice work. Well, you've officially got yourself a floor. Beautiful. And this is the first step. All we have to do is build up. I love it. Cool. Well, Jillian, it looks like we have a sea of wood to paint. We have to paint everything before it actually gets put together for two really quick reasons, OK? The first is, once we make an 8 by 8 room, right. it's going to be really difficult to get in there and roll and cut mm -hmm. around the studs. And the second most important part is, this structure is going to be exposed to all of the elements. So we want to make it waterproof. So once we get through all this, the boys can start building. we got a lot of painting to do. Let's get to work. Awesome.
And then what we do is we actually tie these walls together right here in the corner. Okay. Once we tie all four corners together, it's gonna make this structurally sound. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah, see, right. that's why we build everything 16 inches on center. Gotcha. So you can get through there. So what do you think about the color, Jillian? Love it. Day glow yellow. It's bold. <laughs> I'm loving it. Awesome. <laughs> Guess what? I got more fun colors coming, but I'm not even going to show you till later. Oh, bummer. Cliff, we've got a pretty good foundation there for the playhouse, but now we need to sink some posts. Now, these are going to be the posts that are going to actually kind of hold that catwalk. We could hand dig it with a shovel, which is a big pain in the bottom. We could use a post hole digger, which is better, but still a big pain in the bottom. Or we could use this, which is a one-man auger. It's basically just a little engine, a big crazy drill bit equivalent right down here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start it, we're gonna place it where we want it, and we're just gonna kinda work our way and create a nice big hole. Let's do it. <laughs> I think I hit something. <laughs> The, be the best part is watching you shake around like a dishwashing machine. So as you can see, that sure beats a shovel. Sure does. Well, what we have to do here is a couple more holes, and then we will put our posts in and some concrete, and we've got ourselves a nice foundation. Beautiful. Cool? Yeah. Coming up. It's ready to shoot this up. Let's do it. The trick to turning a rickety skeleton of a house into something solid. Plus. Yes, there's more. We're amping up the colors for what'll be one of the coolest additions to the playhouse. Wait till you see what I'm gonna do with this. And. Hey, sock. <laughs> well, hi there, pave roller. A special feature, <laughs> custom made for a creative family. Next on Hammerheads. It's our final day here with Cliff and Jillian. Now that our storybook playhouse is built, we're gonna bring in the key elements to transform this area into a kid's fantasy land. Hey, I like the slide. Yeah, sliding it into place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're level down here. Well, Jillian, you've done an amazing job finishing up our mosaic pavers. We're gonna finish them off right now. We're gonna use a float, okay? And it's gonna help us force all of that grout into all of our nooks and crannies and cracks in here, okay? I'll put it on and you smush it off and then we'll wipe it off together. Sounds good. And that's all we gotta do. But the key is, is that you wanna push and pull the grout at a 45. You see how it's filling it all up? So that looks pretty good. And now, with my sponge, I'm slightly just rub and start to clean it off. And you see how it even levels out all that grout all the way around? We could have continued the grass all throughout the playground area here, but we wanted to change it up for a couple of reasons. One, to kind of define the space, and two, because it's gonna be a high traffic area and it's gonna probably ruin the grass. Now, what we chose instead was this. It looks like a bark or a mulch, but it's actually made of rubber and it's recycled tires. It's good for the environment because we're recycling. It's cool because you can find a ton of different colors and you can get it from your local playground store. Cliff, Jillian, check out your new storybook playhouse. What do you think? Oh, it's amazing. Awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> colorful. <And> colorful. <laughs> <laughs> what was once a depressing dirt lot has been transformed into a fantasy play space tailor-made for the Walker family. <laughs> it's literally like cotton candy to the eyes. And it all started with the base inspiration of English Tudor. You notice all the stick work that we did up there, Cliff? Yeah, sure do. All the half timbering to give it that decorative style. Yes. And obviously the farmhouse door that Carmen built, which I think was amazing. Great. 
And you guys know that there's virtually no difference between building this playhouse and building a shed. Steve is absolutely right, but what really transitioned it and transforms it into a child's playhouse is, of course, all of the color. We really specifically chose colors that feel like candy. Well, that sort of explains why Marcus is not on the corner. Of <laughs> I was. <laughs> I thought maybe it was edible, but it's not. <laughs> And the parade of colors continues on the ground and right on inside. Oh my god, this is so amazing! I can't get over the things you did! Look at this! This is so cool! I just love this! And you brought even more color in for me. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Just a couple of more things for really for storage as well as organization with all the toys. The indoor is for the creativity, for the arts and crafts and things like that, but there's a whole other section of this playhouse that's all about fun. And I think it's time to check it out, shall we? Let's yeah! Let's go! Let's go. Come on. Next! Next. Like fun. All right, guys, this is it. The access point to Fantasyland. <laughs> I'm loving it. The real eye-catching detail is this beautiful, colorful railing that goes right along our walkway right here. Nice this, job on that. This gorgeous. is gorgeous. I love it. I hope it works. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. So that is the, the tubular slide. It goes around in a circle, and I assure you, again, this is perfectly safe. The one last little bit to this kind of play part is the swings. Wow. And there's one for each of you. Exactly. You better try them out. Woo! <laughs> hey! <I'm loving> <laughs> yes, the grown-ups are loving life. But the real question is, what will Tessa think? Come on down the slide. OK, here we go. Bye. is Marcus. <laughs> See?